Protesters in Baghdad spent a second day confronting security forces as they attempted to breach this barrier. Their aim was to march across a bridge to government offices in the fortified green zone. Protesters have been in Tahrir Square around the clock since Thursday evening. They say some have been attacked without provocation in the early morning hours while journalists aren't around. We want to make sure that we will just demonstrate in a safe way as we want, that we, that we won't get killed. That I don't want to die today. I want to have a good country. About 200 Iraqis have been killed since the latest anti-government protests began at the beginning of this month. People are angry about the lack of jobs, corruption, discrimination, and the cost of living. Prime Minister Adil Abdul Mahdi has promised various reforms, but he's refusing to meet the protesters' main demand, that he resigns along with his government. He says that would create chaos. They're sitting on their couches and they're shooting us. What do they think we are, chickens? They're spraying tear gas on us. Do we need more tears or martyrs? Either die or topple the government. The Ministry of Interior released a statement on Saturday condemning the people it says attacked security forces and vandalized government and political party buildings. A spokesman says they did not use excessive force and they're committed to protecting the human rights of peaceful protesters. Amid the stun grenades and tear gas, we met Ahmed Tanoun and his two-year-old son. 18 years I worked with the Ministry of Interior and my reward was being fired. I have been protesting here and trying to get another contract for four months. Every day they give us promises to calm us and say tomorrow and nothing. Abbas Khuder says he's protesting for the chance his four children might have a future he once hoped for. 2003, I have good and real life, a simple life and happy life. After 2003, I lose my job, my family destroyed, my future destroyed. Members of parliament were due to meet on Saturday, but the session was canceled because not enough of them turned up. With the country in crisis, protesters see that as yet another example of a government deaf to their demands. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.